In this country, right now, you can charge somebody with attempted murder and your whole prosecution case can be completely dismantled and undermined in court, in front of the jury. And yet the jury, with a little bit of help from the judge and the prosecutor getting away with stuff he shouldn't get away with, can ensure that you're still found guilty, even though there's not a stick left standing of the construction, the fake construction of the prosecution's case. The police's evidence completely undermined the timings, the data of the swipe cards coming in and out of that unit, completely wrong, completely undermining the timings. The principal witness in Jayaram, this liar, this narcissistic liar, his story changing from minute to minute. How many versions are there now? You've got the witness in Nurse Williams that contradicts his version of events. Not only with the timings, but to do with the alarms, that the alarms were going off. Every element of Jai Aram's story is wrong. All we're left with is that he came into a room and saw Lucy Letby doing nothing. And yet there's another doctor saying that she wasn't there, that only she, the other doctor only saw Jai Aram there. So every element of the prosecution's case, it was absolutely paper thin to begin with. Were a worthless case to bring that should never have been brought still succeeds within our system because you've got a corrupt you've got a corrupt evil creature like Goss as a judge who gives a direction to the jury that they can infer that because there have been previous convictions that they can they can make their reasonable inferences from those in their decision making so they're put in a position where they think oh well we should give justice to baby K and Baby K's family, even though no evidence that they've seen should have made them bring that verdict of guilty. None.